So you get a young patient who comes in with syncope and the resident shows you the EKG and it looks something like this and you say to yourself, hmm, young person syncope and this. So what you have is basically an RSR pattern with some ST segment elevation. And you don't have to be too bright at this point to realize that this is probably Brugada syndrome. This is somebody who has a uh, right bundle branch block pattern with ST segment elevation associated with syncope and this is Brugada syndrome. So where did this come from? This was a small series of eight cases that had been published by the Brubkata brothers that had this very similar syndrome. Young person, syncope, RSR pattern, ST segment elevation, right bundle branch block thing. These cases were collected by themselves and a few colleagues here at UCLA, at Cedar sinai in the Netherlands, and they presented this stuff, but they couldn't get it published. And they kept trying to get it published because people were saying, you know, this is nothing. This is just another form of things like QT prolongation or something like that. But they're like, no. It's not that, this is a new thing. And they persisted and they finally got it published in this journal, in JAK, the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, in uh, 1992. So the story behind this though is even more interesting because like one of the patients that they had in this series was a three-year-old boy that had a cardiac arrest. His father had actually resuscitated him, he was a paramedic. Um, but that same father had another three-year-old daughter that died suddenly. And he was distraught and in another language trying to tell the Brugada brothers, you've got to find out what's going wrong here. I don't want to lose another child. And actually in this series, as they were collecting more cases, they actually had old cases of EKGs they had lying around of young people that had died and they had this syndrome. So in this paper right here, it describes the history and it is fascinating. Now there's another part to this story for us in the Monsa department in particular. Our friend Amal Matu, was somebody who in the emergency uh, medicine sort of world recognized that this was really important for emergency physicians to find out because we were the people seeing all the syncope. And it was Amal that made us in emergency medicine recognize this syndrome, this Brugada syndrome, this pattern of RSR or of a right bundle branch block pattern uh, with SD segment elevation in V1 through V3 associated with syncope. And that if you put a defendable, implantable defibrillator, you could save lives. And because of this, we got really smart. In fact, we were ahead of the cardiologist. We would be calling the cardiologist saying, I think I got this Brugada syndrome. And they'd say, what are you talking about? So Amal, hats off, saved a lot of people's lives. I have no doubt he saved many thousands of lives because he was such a good educator teaching us about the syndrome. But there's another part in this history about this that the Brugada brothers remind us um, best we're still in the age where you can find things. And if you're a good clinician, if you're seeing lots of patients, take the time. Think about, is there a pattern here? Is this a well-recognized pattern or is it something new? There's another part of this story I want to tell you about, and it's a graph. So now we know Brugada syndrome is caused by a channelopathy. And that channelopathy was discovered by yet another of the Brugada brothers. So if you have a short QT syndrome here, and if you have Brugada here, and there are others, uh, QT prolongation, um, and here we have WPW. When WPW was first discovered, it took 70 years, 70 years to find the cause. And then the graph has been basically like this. In Brugada's case, it took them about 10 years to find out that this was a channelopathy, a sodium channel disorder. With sort QT, it took three years. There's been this extraordinary short period between when we find something clinically and we find out the cause because of our ability to do a lot more investigation than we could back in the day in the 1930s when we were doing WPW. So what's the point of this? Remember Brugada syndrome associated with uh, death? You need to get these people followed up very quickly for an EP uh, investigation and perhaps for an def implantable defibrillator. Amal Matu saved our butts, saved a lot of lives. And this translation from finding something clinically to finding what is the cause has just plummeted in the last few years. Herbert out.